I just gave the India market briefing at the Natural Product Expo. Here's a tidbit just for you. One is assuming that India is a monolith. India's population is larger than all of Europe. Okay? India has more languages than all of Europe, more cultures than all of Europe. So would you enter Italy the same way you would enter Finland or the UK the same way that you would enter Albania? Probably not. Okay? So you have to keep that in mind when you think about India. The second mistake is the one I referred to already. You know, select one distributor. Just make it simple. One distributor handling all of India. Now, every distributor you talk to in India, they say, yeah, I can. Now, I'm based in Mumbai, but I have a brother in laws cousin's neighbor who lives in, you know, New Delhi, and they can handle that, and I'm going to expand to Calcutta in a few weeks. You ask them a year later, and they haven't done any of that. And uh, so, you, you need to have the due diligence to really evaluate how serious they are about that thing. And sometimes that is hard to tell. Why? Most people in India will speak English. Okay? This is the third common mistake. If you're American and you assume that they think American, okay, you're absolutely guaranteed to fail. Okay? This is not because Indians are deceptive or dishonest or anything like that. Far from it. The way that Indians communicate is very different from the way that an American communicates. You know, here we are taught to say, call a spade a spade. Look me in the eye when you talk. Yes, be direct. In India, being direct is considered a form of rudeness. Okay? So, you have to be understated. But not as understated as the East Asian. So, you can't copy your you know, Japanese, Korean or Chinese success story and apply it to India. India is a mix of both, both extremes. And so, you have to adapt your thinking.